right? Okay, so we have already got the cumulative uh, consumption. We have already got our time. Now is the time for us to plot the graph. Right, so this is the cumulative volume. I hope that you can see my handwriting. And then the x-axis is the time. Okay, so you have the data from your fourth column and also your first column. So the first column data is on the x-axis. Yeah, I can't really refer to the book, but I, I hope you understand. The first column data is your x-axis. We're starting with uh, 12 o'clock at midnight until it should be at 12 o'clock at also midnight. Okay, at also midnight, another midnight. Basically, it's a day, okay? So this is the first column data. And the cumulative data, or the cumulative data is at the y-axis. Okay, so if you plot the graph, the cumulative data, you will see this kind of curve. Right, so how do we obtain, okay, the volume for equalizing demand? If you remember the uh, Microsoft Word that I showed to you just now, so we would like to find out the equal, uh, equalizing demand, volume. So what you need to do, since the pump, like it says that the total storage capacity required for equalizing demand for a continuous 24 hours pumping rate. Well, that means what they are trying to say, the pump will be on continuously for 24 hours. Okay, for 24 hours. It was they will just pump the water. Okay. So my pen, hold on. means the pump is on for 24 hours okay so if you can remember okay the pump is always being pumped at the constant rate and that's why we have a very constant uh, or very straight line okay it's by being pumped at a constant rate so the pumping rate is actually the gradient of this line okay i'm not going to draw any gradient yet because it's going to look very messy uh, now, okay, let's, let's focus on the on how to obtain the equalizing demand. What you need to do is for you to draw a tangent like that. One tangent at the minimum point, and the other tangent, assuming that this is uh, does not look like that. Okay, it looks probably a bit high. Okay, the graph is like this. Another tangent at the line. Okay, we have to draw two tangent of line like that. Okay. So draw it a bit longer. Okay, we choose at any time that you like. Okay. Let's say this is uh 12 o'clock at midnight. This is probably at 12. Okay, I don't know. Okay, this is at 12, 12 at in the afternoon, and this is 12 at midnight. You choose any time that you like. So probably this uh, this time, so at twelve o'clock, you okay. You try to connect it to the our first tangent, and then read this volume over here. Okay, let's see volume A, and then you go straight to another. Uh, I think it meets the the line for the second tangent, and then the volume there will be B. Volume for the equalizing demand is basically this B minus A. That is the volume for equalizing demand when the pump is on for 24 hours. Let me repeat when the pump is on for 24 hours. So, how do you obtain the volume of equalizing demand? So, you need to draw two tangents one at the minimum and the other one at the maximum and then just pick any time that you like okay let's say you pick, pick at 12 o'clock so you can see where it meets at uh, at the first tangent so it's at volume a and then it has to go to the second uh second point or basically we find out the interception at the second tangent and and we obtain the volume it to be b so our volume for equalizing demand is b minus a Okay, for the time being, can, can you see my diagram and you understand what I'm trying to say? If you don't understand, then why we try to do example in the book? Okay, 
Understand. Okay, this is the, what we need to do, okay? This is the volume that we need to find out. Can you see my slide now? Yes. Okay, that's great, okay? See, uh, this is the real um, plot of the data, of the cumulative data and also the time. So I say that we have to draw two uh, tangents like that. So pick up at any time that they like. And for this example, uh, they pick uh, the data at 4 o'clock. So we need to find out what is this point and what is the other point. So let's find, let's do that. Okay. Oh, by the way, the the pumping rate is 31 liter per second. Okay, that is actually the same value shown here. Okay. So basically, if you uh, do the average of this. Okay, which is 31 liter per second. Alright, so we look at the volume. At the maximum, this one is 1900 meter cube. And then at the minimum tangent, okay, we can see that the value is 1400 meter cube. So 1900 minus 1400 is actually equal to 500 meter cube okay, 500 meter cube so let's write it down okay instead of something that you don't know and this one is 1900 minus 1900 is it I can't remember yeah 1900 minus 1400 and that will be the value that you have to find out and I think this is 500 plus that so you should be getting it to be it's 1180.4 okay meter cube and that is something that you have to write on the second blank. Again, um, may I request everyone to switch off your microphone because uh, it can contribute to the noise.